sit beside me. Oh, my favorite son. I'm pretty sure if my brothers and my sister ever find out I've got a YouTube channel and they see this video, they're gonna fucking hate it. You see, I was told by Diane Peffers as an adult, even before my mother's funeral, she said, you know, you're always her favorite. It's a strange thing to be the favorite. It means there's nothing to be expected of the child. You can look at a favorite and say it doesn't matter what they do. There's something about that kid. And you realize I am a, I am an anomaly bordering on a singularity. I am Sagittarius. And my mother was Leo. I'm watching Sir, Dove and Serpent Tarot reading right now about Leo. My mother, the Leo. We're both fire signs. Why was I my mother's favorite? It's because there she sat with an adventurous soul. I once saw a picture of Amelia Earhart and wondered how somebody got a picture of my mother. And I realized that's where Amelia Earhart went. She crashed in Johannesburg, Michigan, and my father found her. And without her remembering who she was, he was banging a woman with a fucking head wound and had four children. My mother was an adventurer who was always held back by her circumstances. She never got to, what do you call it? Explore. And I feel like she always wanted to explore. And then she had me the first child that she planned. My father, they were going to get a fucking tubal legation, which is highly against the Catholic faith, but they had three kids and they're, they're my dad's, you know, he's like, not that he couldn't feed us. It turns out he, he kept all the money so that we'd be okay in the end. Isn't that something? Better be hungry as a child and fed as an adult than to be fed as a child and hungry later on. There's something. Oh, the Philosopher's Stone. And so when my mother said, I want another little girl, four years after the last kid was born, uh, I was born a boy they negated the tubal ligation so she could get a girl. And this is why my hair is what I was born to be. I even once had a dream that I was standing on the side of the road. The sun was coming up over Polkett Road. I had a dream as a child. A year before I ever went to school, I had dreamed that I was waiting for the bus and I was in this vibrant red dress. Poof, come out ooh, like it had a petticoat under it or something. Um, and I was dressed like a girl. I think my mother 
want to make me a girl so bad. And I think that she did get that little bit of girl in her. I just happened to be, as Scomp used to say, a lesbian trapped in a man's body. God, I love women. As, as a being, I, I believe that there are different species in this human species. There are splits. Some of them are men, some of them are women. I'm all girl. I care so much that I have to block it out and be fucking aggressive and mean just to keep people from hurting me. Cold-hearted man. It's because I'm a woman. Cold-hearted man. And so my mother loved me more than anything, as it turns out. More than life itself. She held on to me, but she wouldn't hold on to life because I'm watching Leo's tarot card reading and it's about me and my mom. And I think, you know, she's looking right now. There's something that happened years before she died. I wanted to show her something. And the best thing that happened was that she never got to see it, which leaves you wanting a little bit more. She loved me for what I was. And it may be that she is getting her success, her exploration in life. That's what she loved about me was I was going places and bringing back stories of the world, not just the world, of the people, of how people are decent everywhere. It's the governments that fuck us up with their games. And um, I, I, I think she's still watching. She is the alchemist that created the Philosopher's Stone.